Hey, welcome back everyone. We have a lot of things on the horizon when it comes to the Star Wars franchise. We have Celebration of 2023 that's going to take place in Europe. That is basically going to be the destination of a handful of new Star Wars announcements by Bob Chapek. Favreau, Filoni, Lucas, and other creators that will be involved over at Lucasfilm as well. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the new universe is that there's a lot of things coming straight from Star Wars Legends and a lot of other aspects that John and Dave are building upon that's going to become canon. There's also a lot of work being done by, of course, George Lucas helping out and supervising Favreau and Filoni on what to exactly do with all the new and upcoming Star Wars material, etc. for The Mandalorian, for the Ahsoka series, and a whole lot more. And that brings us to where we are right now when it comes to the Star Wars universe, is that there's a lot of things at play here when it comes to what Favreau and Filoni are about to do with the new Star Wars TV shows, the new Star Wars movies, and a whole lot more that's related to, of course, George, John, and Dave's work and their vision of the new universe. Now, with that being said, what's really exciting has a lot to do with the fact that John Favreau is doing something very special with the character of Luke in The Mandalorian Season 4 and future installments of the Mandoverse era of Star Wars. Now, recently Mark Hamill had quite a number of things to say about Luke and tease a couple of things about what Favreau and Filoni are doing with this new Star Wars franchise or this universe, if you will. Now, with that being said, all right, given that Favreau and Filoni are beginning to develop their new Star Wars shows that will be announced at Celebration, Disney executives are also preparing to greenlight other big projects that will add on to the current roadmap of Star Wars. However, in a recent interview with actor Mark Hamill, he went on to reveal and announce some very exciting things for the future of Star Wars and Luke Skywalker and what Favreau and Filoni's plans are with the character. Now, Mark Hamill went on to say the following. All I can say right now is that I am proud and honored to be back working with John and Dave again and how we can evolve the character that spans so many generations for fans. They are also coming up with some very exciting ways to test Luke Skywalker's limits in this franchise. One other thing I can say to the community is that John and Dave have some pretty big twists and turns coming up for Luke Skywalker in some of their new installments that they recently went over with me personally. And I can promise fans that these twists and turns are really going to reshape Luke's character in ways that they can't imagine. Now I want to pause here quick of what Mark Hamill is saying before he gets to the next thing is that he briefly teased this also about maybe three months back that John and Dave were doing something very big for Luke, something substantial that was going to have a lot of implications on the Skywalker saga and how it's going to really affect how we view the Luke that we all know, except in a more positive sense. Now this is what Disney tried to do with The Last Jedi and it went sour. It really did not work out. They went, you know, pretty much the wrong way and now John and Dave are trying to go the right way of creating a lot of twists and turns with Luke Skywalker in the Mandoverse. Now, the thing about Mark Hamill here is that he actually is teasing here that this new twist and turn that's going to be applied to the character of Luke, it's gonna have a big impact on how we view the character in the originals and of course in the sequel trilogy movies as well. So what could this really entail? That's the biggest question of all. You know, we know that they have a lot of things on the horizon when it comes to Star Wars Ahsoka and The Mandalorian Season 3 and 4 and a whole lot more on board as well. So moving on forward from this, he goes on to say, I honestly am thrilled to be a part of this new era of Star Wars. ILM is doing something fantastic with their new technology that they are working on to give you the best version of Luke that they can actually use this by including me and I will hint that it's something that, they, that will truly revolutionize the film industry in a heartbeat. John and Dave went over with 
of course, a multi-year plan for me, with for the character of Luke, that's going to build on these twists and turns that are going to have a big impact on all three trilogies of films in such an unexpected way that I am beyond shocked at what they are putting together. But that's about all I can say right now, and I am not at liberty to say which project these big twists will be uh, involved in for the community. So, before I get to the next part of all of this, the thing about Mark Hamill is that we all know that he loves the character of Luke that John and Dave created. This is the type, or the version, if you will, of Luke that Mark Hamill wanted to really do in the sequels that we never got to see. Unfortunately, J.J. Abrams and Ryan Johnson gave us a completely different version of Luke that no fans really, you know, wanted. I mean, some fans out there really respected it, but let's face it, the majority were not happy with that direction of Skywalker. And so that brings us to where we are now. Exactly where does this all stand? What kind of twists and turns are going to be applied to Luke Skywalker? Mark Hamill hinting at here, number one, that it's going to have a huge impact on all three trilogies. Number two is that this big twist and turn for Luke is also going to have something to do with Star Wars Legends material. Now, if I were to really be honest, it sounds like what John and Dave are doing is that they are really trying to give Luke some kind of new power, perhaps, or some kind of consequence happens due to maybe a certain environment that he goes into could have something to do with the world between worlds for all we know who knows i mean there's a multitude of different things that they can experiment with in the new star wars universe as a whole the last thing that i do want to go over that i think is very important for fans to know is that everything related to luke skywalker is that mark hamill said that ilm is creating this new type of technology that fans have never seen before and that common moviegoers have never seen before. This new technology, Mark Hamill says, it's going to revolutionize the film industry in a heartbeat. That really says a lot. That tells us that there is something very big being done, not just for the story of Luke, but also how Luke Skywalker is going to be created in the Mandoverse. We all saw what they did with Mando Season 2, and then again with the Book of Boba Fett, and now with the Mandalorian Season 4, they really are going to really going beyond their limits on how they develop Luke, and exactly how they actually create all of this. So that's the biggest deal here, is that Mark Hamill, you can tell that he's very excited about this twist end or turn and what John Favreau and Dave Filoni are doing to create saga-wide implications and how it's going to reshape how we view all three trilogies. I'm not quite sure how this twist and turn of Luke is going to impact all three. That's a big question open on the table for discussion. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about that below in the comments. You know, chime in, let me know what you, ha you have to say about all of that because this is a very, you know, very interesting time of Star Wars, given that Favreau and Filoni are doing big things like this. So anyways, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let, let me know what you guys have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.